We at FootTrading.co.uk are giving away an Xbox Series S in time for Christmas as a way to say thank you for all the insane support you guys have given us on the site in the last nine months since we launched. It's been an awesome journey. It's been hard work. It's been tears. It's been happiness. Um, but yeah, you guys have been unreal. So we wanted a way to say thank you as we decided to get an Xbox Series S and give it away completely free to one lucky site subscriber. So if you've ever debated joining the website, now is the time to do it. Um, especially now, because we just launched our Xbox and PS4 fluctuation tracker. What this does is automatically track the price at the low end and high end for certain cards and tells you when to buy in when they're at the lowest and sell when they're at the highest. It went live yesterday. We've got people that are already making 20 to 30,000 coins per card on certain cards on the market. It's updated regularly. It's an un like unbelievably insane tool. It's taken a lot of work to get to where it is now. Um, but yeah, it's a brand new feature launched. So make sure you check out FootTrading.co.uk for your chance to win an Xbox Series S for Christmas. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications so you get notified every time I upload. I upload twice a day. The morning, it's League SBC method, where I basically get open up packs for free and doing player SBCs for free. And the evening is trading videos. The reason I do what I do is I teach you guys to trade, and then you can use that profit to do League SBCs and open up packs. It saves you having to use FIFA points. Now, you might be wondering why in this video I am sat with the current time up on my desktop. I'm going to refresh it so you know it is true, basically. It is 12.41 now in the afternoon. I get a lot of comments underneath my videos on YouTube saying, I did this, it didn't work, or this doesn't work, or that doesn't work. So I'm setting myself the task to see how much I can make in the time it takes me to record this video and upload it or edit it and upload it to YouTube for you guys to see it at, I think, about 5.30, 5.45. So I've probably got about three to three and a half hours I want to show you guys that when I say make 100k today or make 150k today or 50k on this method, you can do it. I want to show you that so you guys know full well that I'm not kickbaiting you guys. Um, these methods do work. You just have to persevere. You have to learn. You have to want to do it, basically. That's the most important thing. Uh, I'm going to show you now for full disclosure where my current amount is. Again, it may lag a little bit as I transition. Hopefully not. Dubs. Um, we're currently set on 1,641,000 well, coins. And full disclosure on my transfer list, I've got give or take about 4,000 coins of players that are sitting there at the moment. So we can discount that from the total that I have at the end of this video. Um, but I'm going to go away now. I'm going to be trading with silvers. I'm going to be trading with chem styles on gold cards. And I'm also going to be trading potentially some special cards to see how much I can make in about three hours. I will be right back. All right, guys. So I'm going to try and show as many of these random pickups as I can uh, throughout the time. I've already picked up some cards already. I'm going to show you those, guys, those now. Um, but Aceric here was just picking him up. I saw him come up, so I thought I recorded me picking him up as I did. 1,200 is a decent undercut on the market as it is already. I'm going to show you some of the cards we've gone and got, some we've sold on. It's hard for me to show you them as I buy them because EA does a stupid thing where it doesn't tell you what cards are actually picked up for. So I'm going to try and show you as much as I can at that time. Uh, but these are cards so far that we picked up. We flipped on a few already, nothing special so far for a few small bits of profit. But these guys we picked up at 2,200. We sold one at 3,800 already. Um, I did make a massive boo-boo though. I min-listed a Gaia, which was not ideal. Um, so someone got a very good bargain on him. Um, but yeah, so far we've got Tello. I think we picked up the centre mids from um, Benevento for like 2,000 coins. They're selling for above that now, which is very, very good. Uh, but yeah, so that's where at the moment that ASOX has been picked up. We're at 1646 as it stands right now. Um, so I'll be right back with some more buys. I'll see you then. All right, guys, so next pick up. Uh, Benevento left backs. They usually sell for consistently about 6,000 coins. Uh, there's a good 1,000 coin undercut on this Foulon here. Um, I will list him up for closer to the price of these uh, Belgian centre-backs to start with. For the first hour, I'll give him a bit of an overlisting. Uh, try and get maybe closer to something like 6,000 coins for him. We might not get quite that much. Uh, but again, another decent pickup. I'm not going to be able to show you everyone we pick up bit by bit. But you'll see the cards as we sell them at the end. I'll be right back. Another good pickup, lads. So look at Giannis, a guy I trade with all the time. Uh, cheapest on the market at the moment is, on him is 2-4, I think. Or 2 is 2-5. 2-5 on him, so I list this one for 2-3, get a decent bit of profit from him. Um, again, like I say, I'm showing you as many of the buys as I can, as I can physically show you. Um, but again, if I was to show you every single buy that I pick up, I just want to show you the method that I'm using at the end, which is the coin total. But that's the way I, I go through. I flip through all the filters that I know that are good filters, pick up cards, list them up, sell them on. Will I sell them all first time? No, I won't. But this is why I'm quite selective in the buys that I get. Am I going to buy a liquid Janice like a 200 coin undercut? Of course I'm not. But him having a near 1,000 undercut there... Even if I sell him a couple hundred coins cheaper than that, I'm still looking at a good like for six, seven hundred coins profit for something that took me 10 seconds. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I started bidding on Shadow Chem Styles as I'm looking for silvers as well. Uh, this thread here sells for 2,300 with a shadow one there. We got it for 1,400. There'll be loads of them like that. I'm showing you guys the methods that I'm using. I, I physically could not show you every single card I pick up because it'd make it impossible to make coins. 
in terms of the time taken to do so. But we're bidding at the moment. We're buying silvers. We're buying chem styles. Again, we'll get, as you can see, the queen total's gone down. We've bought loads of cards. We're waiting for them to sell. I'll be right back. All right, a couple more good pickups here. Both of these were just listed on quite hefty undercuts from where he actually is at the moment. It's about 2,400 at the moment. Looking at a couple of thousand coins profit on these once they've gone. That one was already there. So we'll get those listed up. Again, you can see my coin top was coming down, but I've got lots of stuff selling on the transfer pile. It's just about patience and waiting for things to sell. I will be right back. All right, guys, so time check. It is half past one, just gone. Uh, as you can see there, current time, we've refreshed it. So you can see that it actually is now 33 past. Um, at the moment, we are down. We are down. Uh, by about 60,000 coins when we started, however, 50,000 coins when we started, however, we have all this stuff selling on the transfer pile. Again, ignore the Akuna, he does not count towards this. We've got all this stuff selling on the transfer pile at the moment, uh, which is very, very decent. We've got quite a bit of profit from a lot of these cards waiting to come in. Uh, we've also got some coins inside of this bit here, basically, as well. We've got bids on a couple of players or whatever, so I will list up this Alan quickly that we've just got, this Fred even. Uh, he'll go for 2-3 relatively easily. Uh, but yeah, we continue, continue the grind, I will be right back. All right, guys, a quick update for you. Um, I'll do a, t a time check quickly. So it is now 14.13, uh, 40 minutes since we last saw you guys. Um, I'm just to give you an update. We're bidding on cards right now. So you can see 1617 is a total in the bank right now. However, a lot of these cards here are being bid with us. That coin top has come out of my account already. Uh, and that's Zakari. We just picked up Zakari off of 2,100 coins on bid. Um, I've been selling him for 3,700 for most of, the of today. So that's quite decent. So we're getting, we're listening for 3,006 this time. So very good profit on him with a shadow on him. This is what I've been talking to you guys about chem style trading. It is absolutely brilliant in terms of making coins very, very easily. This is a transfer pile as it looks currently. We've got lots of stuff sold. We've got lots more still selling. Um, so I mean, although we're down, I think 25K, we've obviously got a huge amount of profit still sat on this transfer pile now. Um, and I've been doing this while I'm recording, other, like editing other videos and doing bits and bobs as well. So this isn't even me sitting there grinding it out left, right and centre. I'm going to continue though. I want to try and get as much sold. The aim is to try and get that sort of 100k made if we can. I will be right back. All right, guys. So we're in the home straight now. It is 3.07. Let me refresh it again so you know that it actually is 3.07. Um, yeah, so basically, it's going really well. I'll show you the amount we've got in a minute. Um, obviously, I'm doing this while eating, while doing other edit and other bits and bobs that I've got to do and waiting for stuff to sell. I'm also having to clear my transfer pile off at bits and bobs to try and keep as much on there as I can show you. But if we go over to the game, I'll show you roughly what we've been doing. I've got about half an hour left or so. Um, basically, we've been picking up these cards here with Shadow Chem Styles on them. People list them up not knowing that Shadow Chem Style means they've got more value. So these like Zakarias, we've been picking them up for 2.5k and below uh, all day. Guy, we've been picking up for like 1.5, 2,000 and flipping them on for 3.5, which is great. Manila's the same, all that stuff. And we've also been flipping these silvers over here. So all the silvers there from Syria because Syria has a league SBC right now. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, I've been flipping and it's not working. It works. You've just got to be patient. They will sell. Buy as low as possible. Don't just see a 200 quid undercut. I think that's a good idea because it's not. You want to be buying ones that have got a bigger undercut on them and list those up. I'm going to clear the transfer pile off now though. The reason being is that I, I need to be able to give myself some space. Got half an hour left to grind this out as much as I can. So this stuff here will all go. The stuff that's left selling, I've still got a few more bits left selling. Um, once that's sold, everything there. You'll see my final coin total. I will be right back. All right, guys. So time check. Let's refresh. It is 15.41. Uh, let's head over to the game and I will show you where we are at for today. We are currently sat on 1.729 million, um, but I do have 36,000 coins worth of players still to sell. So we've got well over 100k made in that time. Again, that's with me trading, talking, eating, doing other bits and bobs as well, uh, changing the song that I was vibing to. Um, but yeah, so basically I am showing you that the videos you saw yesterday, the day before, the day before... It is all profitable methods. You will make coins if you follow the instructions relatively simplistically. For silvers, you want to be looking at Serie A. When you're picking up a pair like Tremoni, for example, and the higher tier guys, you want big gaps between them. You don't want to be picking up cards with two, 300 coin gaps. You want to look, let's say, for example, Tremoni's there at 2.6k, and you see one at 1.6. Go and buy the 1.6, listen off 2.4. You're giving yourself a 1,000 coin gap there. Don't just pick up someone because there's a few hundred coins in between it. With the goals and chem styles and whatnot, you want to pick up guys who've got like a maybe 1,000 coin gap. Think your lower end meta cards like Fred, for example. Those, those cards sell for like 1,000, 1,200. People list them with shadows for 1,000, 1,200. As you can see there, I've got two on bids on them with two, uh, for 2,300. But I don't want to hear any more of this in my comment section of, I tried it, it didn't work. It does work. You've just got to work hard at it. You've got to grind it out. If you do that, it's not hard at all. I promise you now, it's just about getting the hang of trading it. That's all it comes down to at the end of the day. 
Uh, but yeah, a very successful day's trading. This is going to pay for my next two days of League SBC grind. So make sure you just subscribe down below so you can check me out while we open up lots of packs, especially if we go to the final three. And I think foot three still continues. I'm not sure if it's been completely rebranded. Uh, but make sure you check it out, lads. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below, turn on your notifications, all that good stuff. It's massively appreciated. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.